Welcome through the portal, Nikita Janczuk in the white pants and red gloves and Luis Roca in the black pants and the blue gloves. Intriguing main event here today, boss. Ooh, yes, sir. Roca. He trains with the Pitbull brothers also. That's also a good thing to do. You know, if you're a fighter, train with those guys, you can't go wrong. In the red corner, from Russia, the destroyer, Nikita Yanchuk. Tell the tape for the red corner, Nikita Yanchuk from Russia, the 1-0 record. He's going to have a, just a very slight height and reach advantage. And in the blue corner, And we've mentioned it before, Luis Rocha, 5-2 and two record on Karate Combat, coming off the back of three unanimous decision victories. Fighters, enter the pit! Last instructions from our referee, Mark Goddard. Three three-minute rounds are going to be put on the clock. Bastards, we're going to get underway here. Roka was telling us, you know, he puts a lot of pressure on himself because he's he's winning, but he's getting decision wins. And he feels as though with the experience he has in the pit, he should be stopping his opponent. Yeah, but I was talking about it in the opening. You know, he be believes that his opponents are running from him. And, uh, and that is very hard to land a punch if somebody's doing that. So hopefully, Yonchuk will not do that, and I'm pretty sure he won't. Yeah, he did He did say he expects to be in a real fight with Yonchuk. That that uh, the Russian would not be taking too many backward steps. Short left hook there by Yanchuk. you got to say, Yanchuk looks a little bit more filled out in the weight class, doesn't he? Yeah, it's almost a weight class higher. So Roka taking the center of the pit. Managing that distance, allowing Yanchuk to move on the outside. And that's a lovely jab. That was nice, waiting for it to kick underneath. Trying to use that potential speed advantage he has. That uh, left kick to the body that Young Chuk was uh, timing that. That was nice, actually. You can see he's just trying to get their rhythms down. And then they're going to try and break that rhythm to Ooh, be first beautiful. to the shot. Nice one. So that was a nice bit of timing change from Yan Chuk. Didn't amount to anything, but the intent was there. This main event, of course, is brought to you by Natural Light. Go ahead and get yourself a natty. Big power coming. Misses, but you don't want to get hit by that. You certainly do not. A lot of intention in these strikes. Roka taking his time here in the middle, still measuring. It's very tricky when you know that uh, your opponent can really end it with one shot. Oy, that's a beautiful, beautiful. pickup. Got the underhooks and just immediately body locked Roka. And, you know, we said it before, Robin mentioned it as well. You know, Roka is no stranger to the clinch game and no stranger to the takedowns. And uh, that was very, very impressive from Yancho. So again, Roka looking for that inside trip. We saw in the the promo footage for him. He's so deft when he, he gets the chance to throw it and uh, gets the body lock there, moves to the hip, and weighing heavy is Yanchuk, but a nice turnaround, change of direction from Roka. It's only very brief, though. He's going to need something a bit more substantial as we move into the final 20 seconds of this round. Yeah. And Yanchuk also, he said he pre uh, prepared for several combinations that, that they will work. Oh! oh! Oh, that's Huge a level kick. body shot, and that has finished it with just eight seconds Oy. left in round number one. Luis Roca, a left kick to the liver. Oh, he delivered a liver kick. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Well, I know how that feels. My first Thai boxing training was not a kick, it was a punch, thankfully, but I went down. Oof. Absolutely crumpled. Well, Roca, he wanted a stoppage finish. He said there was pressure on him to do it, and you cannot get more definitive than that. Cannot wait to see the replay. It sounded uh, 
About as full of shin as it can be. Let's take a look here, Boss. Talk us through it. Oh, and it comes from the back leg, too, you see? Oh, yeah, it's completely to the front. It was like solar plexus, liver, all included. Look, because it's with the, with the power leg. Yeah. You know, the liver is a, the biggest organ you have, right? It's going liver, but it also goes all the way to the top of the solar plexus. So once you kick there, anything's good. You know, when you hit somebody with a liver shot, you can pretty much hit the whole body. That's how big the liver is. Yeah, and look at Roko. Still had the intent to follow up and try and do the damage, even though he <laughs> yeah. uh, put Yanchuk down with the single strike. Let's head down into the pit and get this man's hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner by knockout, Luis Rocha! Well, Bas, we knew there was going to be a lot of power in both of these gentlemen, and they were both coming to really try and finish the fight. Luis Rocha is walking towards uh, a camera at home. Who was he asking for? I don't know. I hope Layla's gonna, Layla's gonna let us know, and if not, she's gonna ask now. We've just heard you straight to camera shout, I want you, I want you. Who are you talking about? Is it the Falinger King? <laughs> KC39 on May 20th, coming back to Miami. Luis Hosha versus Bruno Souza for the lightweight championship. Bruno Souza is pretty much raised by the Machida family. This Bruno kid is such a complete martial artist. The Tiger is taking on the Pitbull. In 2022, Luis Hosha became the lightweight champion by defeating Edgar Scrivers. I saw him train against Patricia Pitbull, and boy, he did really well. Be present at the best fights in the world. That is that guy right here. He called himself the Pitbull. For me, he's a Chihuahua. Anyone that's in the pit versus the Pitbull will go down. The Tiger's coming for you, Luis. Thanks for watching, I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.